tenho um recado muito bacana para você, como também um convite. Vamos receber na Faculdade Teológica Sul-Americana o Dr. Amos Young, deão do Fuller Theological Seminary, na Califórnia, na cidade de Pasadena. Ele estará conosco no meio de julho para uma conferência internacional e tratará sobre o tema Pentecostalismo e Espírito Santo para a missão cristã hoje. Autor de cerca de 24 livros, ele tem sido muito respeitado e um dos teólogos contemporâneos que trata esse assunto especialmente do Pentecostalismo e o Espírito Santo. Eu tive o privilégio de estar com ele no escritório dele aqui no Fuller e conversamos um pouco sobre o que, que ele vai falar e ele mandou um vídeo para vocês e ele está te incentivando e encorajando a participar. Escuta esse recado e eu espero que você possa participar e aceite o nosso convite, tá bom? Até breve então. Hello. I'm Amos Young, and I'm very much looking forward to my first trip to Brazil this July, and I'm uh, elated to be invited to visit the city of Londrina and South American Theological Seminary. And I'm also honored to be able to speak a little bit on the topic of Pentecostalism, the Holy Spirit, and Christian mission today. I've been a, li a lifelong Pentecostal. I've been blessed to have been raised in a Pentecostal movement. I'm looking forward to meeting many of you Brazilian Pentecostal brothers and sisters and fellowshipping with you and learning with you. As you, we all know, the Pentecostal movement there in Brazil and around the world is one of the fastest growing segments of Christianity. And along the way, we are also continuing to search for and develop and articulate our own theological understandings. And those theological understandings have oftentimes focused on the person and work of the Holy Spirit in our midst appropriately so, given uh, the prominence of the Spirit's work in our spirituality, in our churches, in our lives. So you could say that Pentecostalism is in search of a theology of the Holy Spirit. And when we put it in those terms, I also then begin to think about the fact that the person and work of the Holy Spirit belongs to all Christians. No movement, no group, not even Pentecostals, owns a copyright on the person and work of the Holy Spirit. So as we begin to explore the relevance of the person and work of the Holy Spirit for our lives, I believe it'll be an opportunity for us as Pentecostals and other Christians, whatever you might be, Presbyterian, Methodist, Baptist, Presbycostal, Methodicostal, to come together and to learn from each other as we reflect on the work of the Spirit in our lives. And in particular for these two days that I'll be spending with you, I'd like to focus on revisiting what the scriptures say about the person and work of the Holy Spirit, doing it by looking at the Gospel of Luke and the Acts of the Apostles, kind of having a conversation with Luke himself in order to understand the work of the Spirit in the apostolic community and how that might inform our own ongoing quest to understand the Spirit in our world today and all of its complexity in all of its challenges. And so I believe that as we open up the scriptures together as well, that we will be able to learn as we listen to the Spirit speak through the scriptures and as we have conversations one with another uh, as we understand what the Spirit is doing in the world today. I look forward to meeting with you. God bless you. And uh, please join us either online or in person if you can. Thank you.